Step back to 1978 and delve into the world of Pretty Baby, a film that sparked both controversy and critical acclaim. Directed by Louis Mal, this period drama unfolds in the early 20th century, exploring the complex narrative of a young girl named Violet, played by Brooke Shields. The film raises thought-provoking questions about societal norms, ethics, and the boundaries of artistic expression. As you reflect on this cinematic journey, you might wonder, do you have a cherished memory associated with this movie? Or perhaps, can you share a personal story of how this film has inspired or impacted your life? The power of cinema lies not only in its storytelling, but also in its ability to resonate with audiences on a personal level. Before we invite you to share your experiences, let's set the stage with some random facts about Pretty Baby. The film, set in the red light district of New Orleans, portrays the life of a child raised in a brothel, exploring themes that challenge societal norms. The stellar cast, including Susan Sarandon and Keith Carradine, contributes to the film's lasting impact and controversial legacy. Now, it's your turn. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your thoughts and join the conversation about this influential piece of cinema. Pretty Baby, released in 1978 and directed by Louis Mal, is a thought-provoking drama set in the Storyville district of New Orleans during the early 20th century. The film revolves around the life of Violet, a 12-year-old girl played by a young Brooke Shields, who grows up in a brothel under the care of her mother, played by Susan Sarandon. Mal navigates the delicate balance between exploring the societal norms of the time and exposing the harsh realities of Violet's coming-of-age journey. The film's controversial subject matter, coupled with Mal's evocative storytelling and the exceptional performances of the cast, sparked discussions about the portrayal of child exploitation in cinema. Despite its controversy, Pretty Baby is recognized for its cinematic aesthetics and its attempt to shed light on complex themes. The movie's impact on popular culture is reflected in subsequent debates on the ethical boundaries of storytelling and the treatment of minors in the film industry. Pretty Baby remains a significant cinematic work, challenging audiences to confront uncomfortable truths within a carefully crafted narrative. The screenplay of the 1978 movie Pretty Baby, directed by Louis Mal, draws its roots from the first-hand accounts documented in Storyville. New Orleans being an authentic, illustrated account of the notorious Red Light District by Al Rose. This book delves into the operations of New Orleans' Red Light Prostitution District, providing a gritty foundation for the film's narrative. The character E.J. Belloc, portrayed by Keith Carradine, is based on a real person whose photographs of New Orleans prostitutes, captured by E.J. Belloc himself, are featured in the book. Mal's decision to ground the script in the stark realities of Storyville adds depth to the film's portrayal of Violet's coming-of-age journey in a brothel. The use of authentic source material contributes to the controversial yet impactful nature of Pretty Baby, sparking discussions on societal norms and the portrayal of complex themes. It's noteworthy that Jack Nicholson was the second choice for the role of E.J. Belloc, underscoring the meticulous casting decisions made for this thought-provoking drama. Beyond its cinematic significance, Pretty Baby extends its influence to the academic realm, tying back to Brooke Shields, who, years after starring in the film, explored the themes of innocence and experience in her senior thesis at Princeton University. Her thesis, titled The Initiation from Innocence to Experience, the pre-adolescent, adolescent journey in the films of Louis Mal, Pretty Baby, and Lacum, Lucian, demonstrates the enduring impact of the movie on its lead actress. In essence, the film's roots in real-life accounts, coupled with the meticulous casting decisions and the enduring impact on its cast, position Pretty Baby as a cinematic work that not only challenges societal norms, but also leaves a lasting mark on both popular culture and academic discourse. Brooke Shields' raw and untrained performance in the 1978 movie Pretty Baby added a unique authenticity to her character, Violet. In a 2018 interview with Vanity Fair, Shields revealed that she had no prior acting experience when she took on the role. Director Louis Mel intentionally sought an unpolished portrayal, steering clear of a stereotypical Lolita figure. Shields recalled being in the moment during filming, expressing that Mal didn't want her character to exude awareness of her sexuality, avoiding slickness or coyness. 
This unorthodox approach to casting and performance sheds light on the deliberate choices made to bring the controversial narrative of Pretty Baby to life. As the film navigates the sensitive themes of a young girl's coming of age in a New Orleans brothel, Shields' untrained yet authentic acting style contributes to the film's impact. The decision to forego a seasoned actress aligns with Mal's vision, sparking discussions on the portrayal of innocence and experience. Shields' performance, unconstrained by traditional acting norms, becomes a focal point in understanding the film's deliberate departure from conventional storytelling. While Shields' casting marked a departure from the norm, other interesting casting choices were considered. Christopher Reeve, who later gained fame as Superman in 1978, turned down the role of E.J. Belloc, a character based on a real-life photographer. Reeve's decision to focus on his iconic superhero role adds another layer to the casting dynamics of Pretty Baby, emphasizing the careful selection process that shaped the film's characters. In addition to casting choices, the film's reception in different countries adds a layer of complexity. Pretty Baby received different ratings in various regions, such as the A-Tone rating in the United Kingdom, the R-A-Tone rating in New Zealand, and the M rating in Australia. These varied ratings highlight the film's controversial nature and the different cultural perspectives on its content. In essence, the 1978 movie Pretty Baby becomes a study in unconventional casting with Brooke Shields' untrained performance contributing to the film's controversial yet impactful narrative. The juxtaposition of casting decisions, including Christopher Reeve's rejection of a key role, adds layers of intrigue to the film's production. The varying international ratings further underscore the film's ability to provoke discussions on societal norms and the treatment of controversial themes within cinema. In a pivotal moment of the 1978 film Pretty Baby, Brooke Shields, portraying the character Violet, faced a controversial nude scene. Recalling the experience, Shields mentioned that the scene, inspired by a famous photograph, aimed to capture a specific moment without veering into a pornographic realm. Shields, then young and unaware, expressed no discomfort during the brief and carefully choreographed sequence. The choice to emulate a specific photograph highlights director Louis Mal's intention to maintain artistic integrity while navigating sensitive content. Interestingly, the role of E.J. Belloc, a character pivotal to Pretty Baby, was initially offered to Robert Redford, who declined the opportunity. This casting decision played a crucial role in shaping the film's dynamics, eventually leading to the selection of Keith Carradine for the role. Redford's refusal adds a layer of intrigue to the behind-the-scenes choices that contributed to the film's overall impact. Furthermore, the screenplay of Pretty Baby had early contributions from James Tabak, as revealed in the documentary The Outsider. Tabak's involvement in the script's development, although uncredited, underscores the collaborative efforts that shaped the narrative. His connection with Brooke Shields resurfaced years later during the casting of Black and White, showcasing the enduring impact of Pretty Baby on the careers of those involved. In essence, the 1978 film Pretty Baby, marked by controversial scenes and intriguing casting decisions, remains a cinematic work that delves into complex themes. The convergence of Shields' experience with the nude scene, Robert Redford's declined role, and James Tabak's behind-the-scenes influence reflects the multifaceted nature of this thought-provoking drama. As we bid adieu to the mesmerizing world of Pretty Baby, let the echoes of 1917 Storyville linger in your thoughts. Allow the sepia-toned moments of Violet's journey to intertwine with the tapestry of your own experiences. Whether it's the haunting cinematography, the poignant performances, or the exploration of societal norms, Pretty Baby invites us to reflect on the complexities of human connection and the nuances of innocence lost. Now, dear reader, it's your turn to step into the spotlight. Share your musings, memories, or revelations sparked by the cinematic gem. Did it stir nostalgia for a bygone era, or did it unveil unexpected emotions? Was it the allure of New Orleans or the raw beauty of adolescence that left an indelible mark on your soul? Your thoughts are the brush strokes that paint the canvas of this timeless narrative. So, let the conversation unfold. Drop your reflections below, creating a mosaic of diverse perspectives that breathe life into this classic tale. As we delve into the collective musings, we celebrate the power of storytelling to unite us across time and space. Thank you for embarking on this cinematic journey with us. 
Your presence and perspective enrich the narrative, making it a tapestry woven with the threads of shared experiences. Until the next rendezvous with cinematic magic, may your reflections be as vivid as the celluloid dreams that grace the silver screen.